really recommend that you guys try these out. They're all really good and really easy. They all require minimal ingredients. They're super easy and they taste really good. So I'm just gonna get started. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you plan on doing any of these recipes whatsoever and send me pictures to my Twitter and my Instagram. They're both at Uodu if you try any of these recipes out. Make sure to let me know what you think. So let's just get started and I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm actually so done with you. So the first recipe that I'm going to show you is for this clean pumpkin spice banana ice cream and it's really easy and super delicious so if you're a pumpkin spice fan, you're going to love this. All you're going to need is some pureed pumpkin, some maple syrup which is optional, two frozen bananas, and some pumpkin spice. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to add your two frozen bananas into a food processor or a blender and then you're going to add in half a cup of your pumpkin puree into the mix. After that, you're going to add in one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and two tablespoons of maple syrup, which are totally optional if you don't feel that you need that extra sweetness. Anyways, after you've added in everything to your blender or food processor, all you're going to have to do is blend. And you may have to get in there with a spoon and make sure everything is incorporated, but once it looks something like this, you're basically done. It is that easy. So this is a really good alternative for ice cream if you love ice cream but are trying to eat healthier because the base is banana. So technically this is like a little smoothie. You could even have it for breakfast. So I decided to drizzle mine with a little bit more of maple syrup and a few pumpkin seeds. So up next, I'm gonna teach you how to make my favorite recipe out of the bunch, which I'm kind of calling my apple pie in an apple healthy version, and that's a really bad name, wow. Okay, so what you're gonna need is some oatmeal, some ground cinnamon, an apple obviously, some melted butter or butter substitute, some brown sugar, and some vanilla extract. I think I said vanilla extract twice. Anyways, that's what you're gonna need. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna add your melted butter into your bowl as well as one tablespoon of brown sugar. And then you're gonna add in your oatmeal or oats, which is just one third cup. You can add less or more depending on your taste. But I like my apple with a lot of oats inside, so I added a lot. And then I added one teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavor and a bunch of cinnamon because I love cinnamon, and then you're just going to mix everything very well until it's all incorporated. So once you have your mixture all ready, you're gonna take your apple and you're gonna cut the top off, and then you're gonna use a knife to carefully take out the core. Just make an incision like the one I'm making here. Wow, incision, that's a very medical term. Anyways, you could use a spoon if you want to take out the insides of your apple instead of the knife, but just make sure that you don't have any seeds inside and that the hole you're making is big enough to fit your oats. So once you're done, your apple should look a little something like this. And our next step is to just fill the hole we just made with the oat mixture. Okay, so once you've filled your apple, our next step is to grab our plate carefully and put it in the microwave and you're gonna put this in there for two minutes and the heat is going to make our apple kind of baked, but it's actually in the microwave, so it's really easy. And the butter and the sugar and the cinnamon, it's all gonna melt together and it's gonna be gooey and delicious. And you guys are gonna love this recipe. Anyways, once you're done, the plate is gonna be really hot, so be careful when you're taking that out. Then I decided to add a little bit more cinnamon because I love cinnamon and that is basically it for this recipe. It's so delicious. It tastes like a healthy version of an apple pie, except it doesn't really taste healthy. It's really gooey and delicious, so just try it out, trust me. Your eyes icing on 
the cake. So up next, we're gonna be making some pumpkin pie energy bites, and these taste like candy, except they're really good for you. They're full of fiber and other really good stuff. So here's what you're gonna need. First thing you're gonna do is we're gonna be using our food processor once again, or you could use a blender if you want. So I'm adding in half a cup of pitted dates. Actually, I'm just taking out the pits as I go. And then I'm gonna be adding one third cup of oatmeal, and these two things are gonna form the base for our bites. Then after that, I'm adding in one tablespoon of cinnamon as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm also adding in one third cup of my pumpkin puree. Then I added a few pumpkin seeds just to add a little bit of festivity to our bites, I guess. Then all you're gonna do is blend carefully and it's gonna start turning into a sticky mess. So you may need to use a spoon to push everything down, but you're just going to blend it until it starts to form like just one big ball inside your food processor. You're going to see when that happens and then once that starts to happen, you're basically done. So up next, you need to make sure you wash your hands for this next step because you can't be doing this with dirty hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a little bit of your mixture and form it into a little energy ball like this. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I put mine in these like tiny cupcake liners because I thought they would look cute and then I topped them off with a little bit of coconut and that's basically it for this recipe. It tastes exactly like pumpkin pie, which I'm obsessed with, but they're actually really full of fiber which will keep you full and give you tons of energy. So that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed and you plan on trying any of these recipes out, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also in the comments, let me know which recipe was your favorite and if you have any video requests. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. So you are. You are. This is actually really good and I can't stop eating it now.